So, Roman Reigns, thank you for the time. Thank you for, you know, all your time, actually, because I know you're a really busy person. But, um, WrestleMania is coming up. And what is your strategy for defeating The Undertaker, knowing he was 22-1 at WrestleMania? Well, it's quite simple. I'm going to Superman punch him, and I'm going to spear him. You're going to Superman punch him and spear him. But to ask you, Roman Reigns, how many of those Superman punches that really hurt and spears are you going to have to give to The Undertaker? What is it going to take to possibly put him down and making you the next man to defeat The Undertaker? The only person to do it was Brock Lesnar, someone who actually was going to beat you until Seth Rollins cashed in at WrestleMania 31. But, you know, I'm just curious. All right, let's say about four of each, and he's done. Since I can't really speak very well, this interview is over, Chump. Frank, you better back off or I'll give you a Superman punch. You got it? It's my yard at WrestleMania. If you smell the owl, with the, with the Roman Reigns, is grilling. You guys have this Roman Reigns saying, you know, Superman punch, spear, two times two equals four. I smell what he's grilling. And WrestleMania next Sunday, April 2nd, in Orlando, Florida. Will he defeat the dead man? Will the dead man lose his first, second match at WrestleMania? Will Roman Reigns become a heel after WrestleMania, after being The Undertaker, if it happens? Will people stop looking at scoop websites? And why did I, did I even do this interview? It was a waste of time. You can't speak. What was I thinking? Have a nice day. And bye.